Hello, today we are going to work on a project that involves applying a signature to a document, extracting a signature from a document, converting one document to another so that you can extract the signature and apply it to the document. For example, let's say I need to send over an agreement that requires my signature on it by fax and I don't have a scanner but I happen to have Word document and all the software that I have in my computer and I happen to have a document that I previously have applied my signature in there so let's say I needed to get this agreement with my signature on it to a client who has retained my service to build a custom web design for them and I typed up the agreement in a Word document and now I'm going to go ahead and print it since I have a built-in PDF converter I'm gonna print this Word document into a PDF format and then I'm going to save it and to my picture folder so I'll know where to find it I'll call it web agreement and then I'm going to go ahead and close this window out and since I have Adobe Photoshop professional I'm gonna to go to that PDF file which I name web agreement and I'm going to open it up with Adobe Acrobat 8 professional this is and then what I'm going to do is take this document and I'm going to export it as an image file and in this case you can use either PNG or JPEG I'm gonna choose JPEG and I'm gonna name it web agreement JPEG and save it in my pictures folder now it's converted and I can close this out if you don't have a converter you could do a search on Google for convert PDF into image file or convert Word file into image file or convert word file into PDF file the tool I use is very uh, great inexpensive and you can find it online I'm sure there's other tools that are free out there but the one that I happen to own is called pdfill.com and you can go there and try it out or you can buy it and keep it whichever works for you or you can just do a search for a free tool which I'm sure it's available so let's say you have all the image files you want let's go ahead and open up Photoshop the first thing we'll do is we'll get the document that we want to work the, the final document that we want to get our signature onto which I have right here I'm gonna fit it right on screen so I can see it as we'll zoom in a little more by hitting the letter Z on as a shortcut and I'm gonna hit the letter V as the move tool Z for the zoom we'll go here to the right side of the screen move it up so we can see it and we're gonna zoom in a little more so hit the letter Z Z is in zebra on the on the keyboard there it is that's where this signature is I want to apply the first thing I want to do is unlock this okay and I'm going to just apply another create another layer on top of this and before this I'm going to go and open a document that I have which has my signatures on there and in this situation it happened to be let me see here we go 
the signature was a PDF file that I had converted into a PNG format and I'm going to take that signature and zoom in on it and I'm going to drag this into view we're going to unlock it all we do to unlock it is to cut, double click on the name right here on the screen and double click on it and then it'll pop up and just click OK and it will unlock it over here I'm going to choose the magic wand if you don't have it already selected just click on the corner hold it down until you see the option come in here and select the option magic wand and then you just click on the signature now if the signature was signed and the court resolution is very good it'll be very simple and easy like I like over here I just click it once and it selected the entire signature I'm gonna hit F once F as in Frank that's just a shortcut to get to the other screen so I can see so I can get the screens that look like this so I can see both I hit it three times to see this so now I'm gonna need to get the selection tool you can hit the letter F the letter V shortcut or you can come over here and click it and come back here and I'm gonna drag the signature onto the new page when I see the arrow with the plus next to it blinking and I'm on the page that I want and I let it go it will drop it there now we're gonna undo this because I want to show you another tool.